What's up everybody? This is Jose. And Katie. We are going to go to St. George Island in Florida for the first time. This is one of the few places in Florida that me and Katie have not been in. We've been to like almost everywhere in Florida. This right here is one of the last remaining oh, places in Florida that it's 55 that we have not explored. This and the dry tortugas. But we can't film the dry tortugas. I'm sorry, people. Yeah, it's a national park. There's a new rule. Anything that belongs to the National Park Service cannot be filmed. You can apply. Right. But so, that don't mean you're going to get it. Right. So, this will be one of the last frontiers in Florida. Me and Katie have not explored, yep. which is crazy because we... Oh, there's a fishing pier on the other side. we got to keep that in mind. See that fishing pier over there? Mm-hmm. That's cool. There's a fishing pier. There's like nobody on it. I think you can drive, can you drive your car on it? it? Looks like it was an old bridge and it turned into a fishing pier. No, there was a stop a few uh, gotcha. ways back, yeah. But anyways, this will be one of the last frontiers for me and Katie. Like we've explored most of Florida. There's only like a few tiny places in Florida we haven't explored and this is one of them. So we are now, if you've been watching our YouTube channel, you're wondering, is there a place in Florida Jose and Katie haven't been? Almost, yeah, there is an almost at this point. But the reason we haven't really gone on this island is because it's so isolated and there's so many things in the area that it's, it's hard to really cover all of it. But um, I'm excited. Katie picked out a restaurant which I think looks like crap. There's not much on that island. So basically, where we're going to be going, if you look at a map of Florida, Look at the Florida Panhandle. There's like a point that sticks down in the Panhandle. That is exactly where we're going to be going. That little point of the Panhandle that sticks out into the Gulf of Mexico. The water here is sometimes baby blue and clear. Other times it's kind of dirty. Um, most of the Florida Panhandle um, along like between Panama City, even like from Mexico Beach all the way back to like Pensacola, is clear waters. But once you go between Mexico Beach heading back over to clear water, it's all dirty water. But this spot here, being far into you know, just pulling down the middle of the Gulf, sometimes we'll get baby baby blue clear water. But for the most part, it isn't baby blue clear water. So it's it's like hit or miss. Uh, this area. Cedar Key, Stanahatchee, isn't really known for uh, clear waters until you get to clear water. What do you think about people from Mississippi? They seem angry. Yeah, it's like when they travel, they're not happy they're traveling. Yeah. It's like they're frustrated when they go to other places for some reason. Yeah. It's like they don't know how to cope with not being in Mississippi. Yeah. Oh, this seems nice. And at first glance, it seems like it's going to be nice. It seems pretty cool. I love the drive. Yeah. I didn't realize the bridge would be this long. Yeah. That is cool. 
Pool Beach song. 40 miles an hour. Okay. 35. Okay. Squatted truck. Squatted escalator at that. Mm-hmm. You got a purple Jeep. The first thing that you full come upon is a purple Jeep. I've seen a lot of squatted trucks. What ones are St. George Island? Mm -hmm. I know they have a lighthouse. This seems really cool. Pick the Wiggly gas station. Get the big bit down there. We'll see. A Piggly Wiggly gas station? Wow. <laughs> Interesting. And they sell hand rolled sushi. Sushi. Not sushi. Sushi. You gonna go to the right when the road ends? Right or left? The right when the road ends. Katie, stop stopping at boardwalks. You're gonna get rear ended, dude. You already angered two Mississippians today. I don't know where this guy's from, but he's from Mississippi. Go to the right? Yeah, go to the right first. Mm -hmm. And then the mission will go to the left and we'll go all the way down that way. But we'll go to the right first. Okay. Museum and gift shop. Cape George Light. Those little houses over there. This reminds me of Everglades City, but with less bales. It kind of has like an Everglades City vibe. BJ's Pizza. Mm -hmm. That might be good. I'll look at the photos. Yeah. I'm gonna go this slow. guy behind you is about to like ram no. his car into you and then like come over here and bite your head off. He's he's had it. Can you imagine the frustration of being stuck behind Katie for 15 miles? No, I was going slow because there was kids running around. Okay. So heading this way it doesn't look very appealing. No. no we'll head the other way. You want me to turn around? No, eventually. Go down, go down. We'll see. We'll explore. Eventually we'll go the other way. And now we're facing the sun so it doesn't look as cool. It looked nicer once we're heading the other way. It's pretty nice. Big rocks. Lots of pine needles. This is kind of like a cross between Corpus Christi and, and Everglades City. Like if Corpus Christi and I Everglades find it City, really cool. Yeah. Like if Corpus Christi and Everglades City had a baby, this would come out. I wonder what places out here cost. It's, it's affordable. Uh, well, it's a real affordable. But there's nothing to do here. This is just like a... Yeah. Very far out outpost. But it does seem like the type of place that would appreciate it, so. There's a road that parallels the beach. So what you'll do is, like, eventually we'll take a left. <laughs> you can go further down. We'll go all the way to where it starts. It's called Toe in the Water. Toe in the Water. We'll see. Christy in Everglades City had a baby. Mm -hmm. And it's probably the geographical center of both places. <laughs> I'm not even kidding, Lizzie. Uh, no, you're much closer to Everglades City than you are Corpus Christi. Mm -hmm. So, when you get to 12th Street, they're numbered, you'll take a right. Mm -hmm. Seems really cool. Like everybody's got boats.
was hearing. A left? Yeah. I thought you said right. Maybe it'll be a left. Not this one, but the next one. Not here? Not this one, but the next one. Okay. The next one. Hmm. Yeah, the next block, I'll take a left. And then, like, it'll turn into the next parallel extreme. Oh, it's gated. Hmm? What? Oh, down to the, if you kept going one, it's gated, and two, it's called plantation. So. <laughs> there we are. The water's right there. So now we're going to drive along the beach. We're right through here. And we'll see what color the water looks. It's kind of mixed. Kind of not bad looking. Yeah. Mixed. Now we're paralleling all these houses here. Their backyard is La Playa. Mm -hmm. The water looks, it's not dirty, it's not perfectly clear either, it's kind of like metal, kind of like in the middle. So all these houses here, their backyards the beach, oh it does kind of look a little clear, we'll see when we get a better view. Mm -hmm. It looks kind of like, it's like metal, it's not clear clear, but it's not like dirty either, it's kind of like a metal ground color. Looks nice. I wonder why it's called St. George Island. What are these people doing? They're like howling up birds. Are oh, they feeding the birds? Are you even allowed to do that? Is that a crime? It's like throwing bread at the bird. But that's not really a crime. You're not allowed to feed animals, but birds, I think it's okay. Ooh, that's ugly. Yeah, look how ugly that thing is. It looks like a giant turtle. It's not a big deal to feed birds. Birds you can feed. There's some Karen Gators. out there typing. There's a Karen right now calling for the wildlife. I have video evidence of you feeding animals. They're protected. Do not feed alligators. Do not feed manatees or anything like that. Um, I love how it's just a tiny little house, but it's on the beach. Mm -hmm. That is so cool. Yeah, you can feed birds. Nobody gives a crap about birds. But uh, don't feed... People feed pigeons all the time. But that's the difference. Well, I guess mammals are the ones you're not allowed to feed for sure. Mm -hmm. Mammals you can't feed. Birds, people don't seem to care about. Yeah, people have bird feeders in their yard. So you are allowed uh, to feed birds. Karen's yeah. still typing, though. Oh, Karen's been typing. Yeah, because people have bird feeders. They sell that, though. Mm -hmm. Mammals are the ones they don't want you to feed. Mm -hmm. I love how these houses are like regular looking houses, but they're right in the water. I love that. They're not like over the top, incredible looking houses. They're on the beach, but they're like normal houses, you know? It just has a nice. Mm -hmm. uh, all these Mac mansions that they build on the beach are just so over over the top redundant, you know what I mean? Like, you can slow down a little bit. Right. Love how you drive slow when there's people behind you and then like when you're actually at the spot where you want to drive sl slow so you can see stuff you decide you want to do the speed limit <laughs> <laughs> people don't wave at you here that's kind of odd yeah i love how these are like tiny little old houses they're not like fancy they're not you know like they're not like like look at this one it's just like a little beach cottage you know like nothing over the top i love that I love how they're normal houses, but they're on the water. You get what I'm saying? Like, they're not like mansions, you know, they're not like, I, I never got that about Florida, bro. Why not just have a normal house on the beach? Why does it have to be this seven story, 8,000 square foot thing, you know? Thanks for your supporting comments. I was just like taken aback by the preferred Bitcoin. As a method of paying for uh, property. A lot of Alabama tags, too. Well, I promise a lot of people now, like from other countries, are using Bitcoin. Like, mm -hmm. entire countries. Like, I, I was at the beach the other day, and there was a Venezuelan on the phone. 
talking about how he has $30 million in Bitcoin mm-hmm. and how, like, he's in America now, so, like, he's buying a house. Mm-hmm. I was just like, wow. He was just like on the phone, like, oh, hey, Marico. They call each other Marico. I have no idea what that means. Like, oh, yeah, Marico. I got $30 million. Apparently, he just got here with $30 million and he was buying a house. Mm-hmm. And he's like overjoyed, like enthusiastically overjoyed about being in America. He's like, I'm in America. I'm in America. I made it. Nothing else matters. Buy me on one of these big fancy houses. I was just like, That's why that country's going to crap because everybody's stealing everything. Mm-hmm. That's not the richest country in Latin America. Used to be Venezuela. Used to be the richest country in Latin America. And now it's one of the poorest. From richest to poorest in a matter of years. Because all the rich people left the stole, country. Yeah, all the rich people stole everything and left. Mm-hmm. What, else, what else can you do when, you know? Crazy. Mockingbird singing. This is beautiful out here. I love how there's a variety of palm trees for being this far north. I hate when like like in like Carolinas where they only have one type of palm tree. I like to see different types of palm trees. I guess they can't get all the tropical ones here. It's too far north. It gets too cold. It snows up this way once in a while. Now, this would be a great place if you just wanted to, like, disappear off the face of the earth. It's got that, like, isolated vibe. Got that bama down here. Like, if you just wanted to, like, drop off the face of the earth and never be seen again. Yeah. The thirty million dollar guy, <laughs> the thirty million dollar Venezuelan. If you're a Venezuelan with thirty million dollars that you stole from your country in Bitcoin, and you just need to hide out for a while, drop off the face of the earth. This will be the place to do it. Take the first right when you get a chance, so you can keep going along the coast. Uh, so this right here. Yeah, that's a pedestrian. I know. No, I'm just reminding you, just in case you. So right here. Yeah, it's a, it's a, yeah, just in case you didn't you know. I, I know where the pedestrian no, is. Just, just a reminder. Just a kind reminder. Where are these houses? And this area is not that expensive, from what I understand. It's not like Southwest Florida expensive. <laughs> I love how they allow them to build a freaking shed on the beach. And the shed's got air conditioning. See, I think what scares a lot of, like, we were having a conversation about how squatter trucks scare women. I think what's, they're all playing loud music. It's just too much. It's too much. It's too much pretend, you can pass her. Too much pretend masculinity. Yeah. Too much pretend masculinity. There's got to be some kind of, like. Normality. Yeah, it's just, like, it it just turns women off. It really does. Like I was saying like, in the other video when I was talking about like in Apalachicola, it was like yeah. we were recently, just keep going sure. We it's recently. like, what are you trying to do, impress other men? <laughs> <laughs> Don't drive to the water, I just watched the car. Like literally way and drive around. Go, 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 because there's a car, car coming. Just keep pushing along the coast. <laughs> Early. Let's take a ride. Yeah. But anyways, like, I was in Panama City Beach doing a lot of beach videos, and I just wanted, I thought it'd be hilarious to see what girls thought about squatted trucks, you know? It's too much. It, it, you basically, your thoughts on it are, are you trying to impress other men, or? <laughs> well, I, I thought it would just be funny mm-hmm. to ask girls from, like, Illinois and Indiana, because there's a lot of girls from Indiana and Illinois. Because they're having their spring break right now. Um, and I, there was um, Lafayette, Illinois, a lot of, you know, up there. That spring break's for them right now. Okay. And I thought it'd be hilarious to ask the girls from those states what they thought about squatting trucks. 
and they would come up to me and be like, oh my gosh, you're a YouTuber. Like, oh my gosh. Like, take it right here. Mm -hmm. Right here? Yeah. Okay. Like, you're a YouTuber. We're taking you back to our hotel room. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. So, I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I have a wife right there. She's looking at me like she's going to kill me. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, but they would all come up to me. And they would be, like, really excited, you know, to be on my YouTube video, right? And then all of a sudden, I, I would ask them, because I thought it would be hilarious to ask them what they thought about the squad of trucks. Because I, and then they're coming up to me like, oh, my gosh, John, you're going on YouTube. And then I'd be like, what do you think about these squad of trucks? And they'd be like, they'd look at each other and walk away. Like, we got it, girl. Mm -hmm. And I was, I was really like, oh, my gosh, they're creeped out by it. Mm -hmm. They don't like it. They're creeped out by it. Which is interesting to me because I, I never realized that some of the things that guys do that they think is cool is actually just creeping the crap out of women. Yeah. Yeah. These are things I wish I knew when I was 16, not now that I'm married and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> it's kind of late in life to be learning these lessons, but... I, I like this place, though. It's like very... I like that there's a lot of young people, too. It doesn't look like they're all old. We're on George Drive. But it was interesting that, like, as soon as I mentioned squatted trucks, they're not their whole demeanor just changed. Like, they were just like, they don't out. like the trucks. Wow. Do they know this? Because, like, they go to the beach thinking they're going to get, maybe they don't think they're going to get girls. I don't know. Like, they go with their squatted trucks. They drive a squatted truck from Birmingham or Montgomery all the way to Panama City Beach, and they think they're going to pick up some girls from Indiana. No. With their squad of trucks. And the girls from the end are like creeped out. Like, oh my gosh, these guys are, none of them are straight. <laughs> I don't know what they're thinking. Yeah. It's interesting how, like, there's this huge disconnect mm -hmm. between, like, what the guys think is going to impress the girls. Oh, there's always been that. Not really. Is there? Mm hmm. Uh, what was it when we were growing up? Like. Uh, Everyone thought that the car attracted it, but it never does. It, I don't. I didn't care about your truck. I ca cared about your car. I didn't care about your car. I cared more about you. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Analogy there. Well, you know what? I, I have a subscriber. Mm -hmm. um, you can, I think he's like hidden from the channel or something like. But he's like the most redneck uh, subscriber I have. And he had he tagged something, he time stamped the video, right? And he wrote trash. Mm -hmm. So I was in my mind, knowing the subscriber, mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, it's definitely gonna be mm -hmm. like uh, something very Hispanic that he doesn't like. Mm -hmm. It was an, it was somebody from Alabama. He time stepped somebody from Alabama. I was like, this is pure trash, Jose. I was <laughs> like cracking up because in my mind, I'm thinking, oh, he hashtag something Spanish that he didn't like, you know. Mm -hmm. But he time stamped it and he wrote trash and it was I thought it was gonna I was in my mind I thought it was gonna be something Spanish and it was actually like somebody from Alabama talking about like he's from Montgomery and the guy was like man this, this is complete trash right here Jose <laughs> <laughs> You can drive a little bit faster because I don't know what the speed limit I think it's twenty five. Yeah. Because this is like a big island, like eventually if we just drive with this speed one then we're gonna actually I don't want to drive to the far east end because, like, it looks like you can drive right through the sand like we did in Pennsylvania. Um, like uh, this is a great place to retire if you don't want to see anybody else. You just want to, like... This live. is the type of place you buy it early, and then by the time you're retiring, it's probably going to be built up and crazy. And That one right there looks kind of ghetto. It's, like, beat up and mm -hmm. has a bicycle and a car in front of it. Nothing like what I expected. Mm -hmm. See that car coming up behind you? Mm -hmm. Yeah, just pick it up a little bit. Okay. It's a big island. Like, you think, no, don't like scare pedestrians, but like it's a big island. Mm -hmm. But it was odd because like they would come up to me like, and of course like I'm trying, I'm not gonna give them too much of my time. You know, but I would just ask them where they're, my goal was just to ask them where they're from, what they're going to study, which I never got to that part. Because when I mentioned squatted trucks, I wanted them to be like, 
to just say like, oh, it's creepy. That would have been interesting. Mm -hmm. But then like women are odd because like women don't say they're what they gonna think. They're not going to say that. Well, why not? Why not just say they're creepy? I don't know. They want guys to figure them out. Mm -hmm. Why do women want guys? To, why don't you just tell us what you want and we'll do it? That's, that's not Can you imagine work. how easy life would be if women just told us what they wanted and we do it? Like, we want a bunch of palm trees, like, maybe like 800 guys digging palm trees out and printing them, you know? Women could control the world. If, if women just told men what they wanted, they could control the world. If women just all got together, like, hey, we're just going to tell them what we want, the world would be like... Do you want me to tell you what I want? Not you. No, other women. No. Well, what do you do here? You hock the horn because it's rude. Try to pass them. Get in the other lane. There... Okay. Get in the other lane so they can see. Just go around them. There you go. Go, go, go for it. Make sure they saw you. They did. My girl saw me. If women were just to tell guys what they wanted, they could literally rule the world in like a heartbeat. They could be like, we want some palm trees. And be like, 800 guys, they're going to ponder now. I'm planning. You know what I mean? Like, it would just be that quick. But the thing is, like, we're like... Like, if women just told them that was creepy, they would just stop doing it, like, in a heartbeat. Women have the ability to, like, control the whole world, but they let bad... F so that's why I tell you that you, were, me and Kate were e recently arguing in private whether women or am whether women or men were more evil. Hands down, women are more evil. When it ends, you'll take a right. When you see the first intersection, you'll take a right to keep going along the coast. Go straight that way. Kate and I were arguing whether men or women were more evil. And I told her, like, clearly women are more evil. Is that even a question? First of all, not only are they more evil, but then they have, like, impunity when they're evil. Like, I was watching a homeless woman. Now, she was, like, in her 20s. But she was still attractive even though she was homeless. And she was told a story about how she was, like, bothered her whole life since she was little. And how because she was bothered, she thinks it's okay to bother other kids. If a guy did that, he would get stoned to death. But because it's a hot girl, you're just like, oh, okay. That's kind of creepy. But you don't, like, give it a second thought because it's a woman. Women, not only do women, not only do women do things that are worse than men. They, get, they have complete impunity why they do it. Some things that women do, like, take a teacher. If a guy teacher does something wrong, he's like... People want to like go out there and, and with reason go out there and like stone him, right? Yeah. They have to put him in protective custody because all the immigrants will kill him. Mm -hmm. If a woman does it, it's like, well, what a lucky guy, you know? 14 years old, he's got himself a grown woman. Lucky guy, what's he complaining about? So women have rigged up the world where they have impunity, they're more evil than us. And, like, incarceration rates for women should be, like, ten times higher than incarceration rate for men. Because when men are incarcerated, it's because of women. All the men that are incarcerated... If you went to a jail right now, what are you in here for? I didn't pay child support. Woman. Yeah, what are you here? Man, I, a guy, I killed a guy because he was making me jealous. Woman. Like, 95% of prisons are men... Because of women. Women are the reason why male prisons are full. Yet, nobody thinks to incarcerate women. Not only are they evil, they also operate with complete imp impunity. Mm -hmm. Like, prisons should be 95% women. Like, just lock up all the Karens. Like, release all the black guys and lock up all the Karens. We're doing this all wrong. Wow, okay. Wow. See, like, if I made that comment, people would be mad. But because you're a woman, like, because you're a, a white woman saying that, nobody cares. Like, nobody, no black guy's gonna be like, dang, Kate, I've been following you for the longest. I can't believe you. No, they're okay with that. For example, not like if it's in general, like, you have I to be careful who you let out. It's on a case by case basis, not like the whole. Oh, be quiet. So I discovered this channel. It's called. I just subscribed to it today. Pull up and chat. I think is what it's called. 
that was the I, okay this is a youtube channel that i discovered just today that was one video that i watched the other video that i watched was about a black guy in his 50s who got a 18 year old mexican girl pregnant in dallas and then they're homeless in houston because they're waiting for free housing the mexican girl literally said the n-word She's like, oh, my parents don't want me to be, and she was like as slow as a run. She's like, my parents don't want me to be with a black guy because they think all black guys are lazy. <laughs> She's homeless women because he knocked her up. He doesn't want to work. Right. If it was the other way around, there's no way a, a white guy that has a black girlfriend that's 18 knocked up and be like, well, well, my family members really didn't want me to knock up a black girl. <laughs> And use the word. It would not be acceptable. So it goes to show that women have a complete immunity in society. They can do things, say things, and they can even ruin our dang lives. And we look at it as absolutely nothing. What's this? I think. So. I think oh, this is a pay. park. It's yeah. a park. Well, we're not paying. So. Yeah, you want me to just turn around? Well, you turn right here, yeah. Yeah. But allegedly, you can drive right through the sand, just like in Panama, in uh, Pensacola. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you can see the sand dunes, but it doesn't even look like it's attractive because they're covered in grass. But it's a park you have to pay, we're not doing that. Yeah. No parking here. Okay. Alright, let's go to that pizza place. Okay. Okay, you can reprimand me for what I've said. You don't even know where to start. I don't know. <laughs> Back to our argument. You asked me yesterday, and I even thought about it. I didn't think about it. I knew off the top of my head women are more evil than men. But if women are more evil yeah. than men, why are men incarcerated at a higher rate? Mm -hmm. Like 80% of people arrested are males. Why aren't women being incarcerated at a rate 10 times higher than us? They're the reasons we don't pay child support. They're the reasons we end up on child support to begin with. They're the reasons we stab somebody at a bar. You know when a guy gets stabbed at a bar? They're stabbing each other at a bar because of a woman. Any, like name the any whole, crime. Name any crime. Any crime. The whole like making like like I'm gonna have uh, ten babies by ten different baby daddies so I can support my lifestyle. That I don't agree with. Yeah, she'll put ten different guys in jail. And why doesn't society put her in jail for being a slut? <laughs> that's what I'm saying. It's, that's slick. Like we need we need a pimp named Slick back to run for president. <laughs> we need like the pimp from Norbit, Norbit, right? We need the pimps from Norbit to run for president. That's like a dual agency. Like now, man. Or at least the court systems need to be run by pimps. We need to, like pimps need to be grabbed and they need to run the courts. Like, girl goes to court. This is my seventh baby. He ain't paying child support. But like, lock this woman up and free those men. <laughs> Yeah, those would probably... Uh, the guys... I, I'm just saying there's a very misconstrued ideology. First of all, let's forget about all the circumstantial evidence. Yeah. Let's just back it up to, are women more evil than men? Like, if you put... Like, let's say you have a baby tomorrow, and then you put the, you put uh, someone you don't like as the dad and then sue him for child support... He may not be biologically the dad, but that's that's what I don't like. It's like that guy might not even be the dad, but yet you're putting child support on him because he's listed on the birth certificate. That's what I've told you, mm -hmm. and she gets mad at me for saying this, but I tell her all the time, even though you're my wife, if you get pregnant, I'm not doing a dang thing until I got a DNA test, and then after you can prove that it's my baby, then after you prove it's my baby, I'll give you like I'll pay you back for. Stuff I didn't do while you're pregnant. I don't. I, I don't even know how to respond to that. Like I would be one angry pregnant lady. I probably wouldn't go back to you because you pretty much. No, what if like you DNA tested? But oh, it was my baby. Okay, well here's the money. Like the whole time you're pregnant, you'd lose me. Let's see, okay, let's back it up a little bit, right? Now, we're looking at this from a 
criminal, like we're, we are the Supreme Court right now, right? This case made it to the Supreme Court, okay? So in front of us, we're both Supreme Court judges. We're at the Supreme Court level in this case. A woman gets pregnant by a guy. She tells him it's his baby. He pampers her, puts her in a place to live. She ain't paying rent. She's at home all the time. He's working two jobs. You know, he sells his squatted truck to, to you know, to have money and savings. And, he, you know, doctor's appointments and caring for her. You know, even though he's working 60 hours a week, if she needs uh, ice cream at 3 in the morning, he runs and gets it on two hours of sleep. Then the baby comes out. And these, this is a Mexican couple, okay? And the baby comes out looking like, like black, let's say. Mm -hmm. This man. I feel like that guy should be able to sue her. Yeah. Uh, because, you know, it wasn't his baby. She probably knew it wasn't his baby. Right. So, like, if a woman lies to a man, right? If a woman lies to a man. I would think that would be considered fraud. There's no legal consequences for that. Yeah. A woman can grab a man and make a rag out of him and have no legal consequence. The other way, in a married couple. Slow down with the door down. Yeah. Slow down with the door down. I'm going less than the speed limit. Right. Now, that's a perfect example of a what I consider a they need to lock her up. Like that is like a yeah. to me that is a over the top horrendous crime. A woman will grab a guy, tell him the baby's his, make him he'll work sixty hours a week, sell everything he has, and to find out nine months later the baby comes out black. Mm -hmm. Now or Chinese, it doesn't matter. I'm just saying as an example, it's clearly not his. If it's a black couple, the baby comes out white or something, you know. My point being though. She doesn't have to reinstate. If, if he took her to court, mm -hmm. the court wouldn't even look at that case. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But if it was the other way around, if right now we're married, right, and I'm like, well, until you, until you can DNA test the baby, I'm not gonna take care of you. <laughs> yeah, I would be so angry, and then you'd be like, well, it's my baby. We need to be a family. Yeah, once you. DNA I would be mad test, and once leave. you DNA test the baby and know it's mine, then I'll take care of it. But if women are that horrendous, shouldn't I be allowed to take preventive measures to protect myself from them? Mm -hmm. I'm not talking to you as a husband to a wife. I'm talking to you as we're the Supreme Court right now. Yeah. From a Supreme Court perspective, should a man take care of a woman while she's pregnant until he knows he can DNA test it? Or if he does, should he at least keep a log in case it's not his? And then he can have her sued. Mm -hmm. You get what I'm saying? Like, this is an injustice. By the way, I met a pimp in Panama City. He explained all this to me. Oh. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. Actually, <laughs> I wouldn't be surprised, but. <laughs> I'm just playing with you. No, we were talking about this. We really were talking about this. Why is the law so one sided on this issue? Mm -hmm. Notice how the sidewalks have stop signs? It's up ahead on the right. Yeah. You have to stop, right? No, you don't. It has a stop sign. That's for the people on the sidewalk. And the other ones you were stopping at didn't have stop signs. Just food for thought. Why is it okay for a woman to use a man, manipulate him, extort the life out of him, but a man can't even get, protect himself from that situation? Like... If a man was like, well, I'm going to protect myself from the ravenous assault of women. I think it's that building with the red roof up there. Yeah, I see it. Right? If a man's like, I'm going to protect myself from these ravenous, savage women, I'm not going to pay you anything until the baby comes out and we can DNA test it. Right? In 600 feet, turn right on Yeah, we have a shared bank account. The guy, then the guy, <laughs> the guy doesn't even, it's not even legally allowed to protect himself from being put in that situation. Mm -hmm. Why? In some states, it's if you are married to someone, it doesn't matter what, even if you have the birth certificate. Okay, so if, you, if you're married, you have a contract. Yeah. Okay, I understand if you're married, you have a contract. Mm -hmm. So that invalidates that claim because, okay, you're married, you have a contract. Yeah. Fine. But if 
if you're married or not. You know how many married guys that happens to? Mm-hmm. And some of them actually stay with the girl and raise the baby. Look, yeah. at, look at Dale Gribble. Yeah. Dale Gribble. Mm-hmm. You know? Yeah. Alright, let's get some pizza.